Okay then, let's get animating. So we've got the camera in the position that we want it to be and we can see that it's looking at this and there's the position of it. And we're now going to set some keyframes on it. Lovely. So first things first, make sure you're on frame one, which we should have done in the last video. So there we are, frame one. And I want to set a keyframe just on the camera. So make sure you've not got the group selected or the aim, just the camera, and then hit S. Um, I think we'll just change this over to the channel box as well so we can see what we're keyframing. Um, let's move that over there. Okay, so I'm on frame one and I've got my camera selected and I'm pressing S. There it is, my keyframe's gone on. Lovely, that's what I wanted to see. Right, on frame 250, let's go all the way to the end. We need to move the position of the camera and then we can set the second keyframe. So I'm going to move it across the room like that. I don't want to go through the walls, that's quite important, because if you move a camera through the walls, it won't be able to see anything. It won't render, so I'm just going to move that over there, and I'm going to change the height as well. To something like that. Okay, move it back a little bit. So, that will create the basis of my animation. So now that I've repositioned it, and I've got the camera selected, I can press S. And then, as if by magic, the animation will happen. Now, at the moment, as I play this, you can see, and this is quite important, that only this view here is showing any animation. And that's because that, at the moment, is the active view. Okay, so to make the view you want to see, which is this one, the active view, we're going to just hit the middle mouse button in there, and you can see that the, the color changed on the outside, and then... You can scrub through your animation. And there we go. That's already starting to look pretty damn sexy. And we've not even rendered anything yet. So, there we go. That has created an animation for us. Right. Um, at this stage, you might want to turn everything back on and create a play blast. Um, but, what is important is that if you watch the animation... It's jerky. Um, it just hits the end and stops. There's no smoothness to it, which you couldn't really do with a camera. It just sort of hits the end and stops. So what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to go back into the graph editor and create um, a plateau effect on the curve to slow the camera down um, on the in and out points. Um, so that's what's coming up next. So I will catch your ass in the next video.